Hey everyone, welcome back. Crown Geek here. So Windows 11 24H2 is rolling out gradually and Microsoft is limiting the rollout due to the multiple bug and waiting for the OEMs update before offering the full update on all the devices. But if you are tired of waiting and anyhow need the Windows 11 24H2 update, then there's a workaround to get this update earlier and forcefully. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. Now all you need to do is to change the system policy using the group policy editor and this was basically done by the Windows latest who tried this workaround on a Windows 11 23H2 machine and the trick worked absolutely fine for them. So let's see and test whether this trick work or not and right now I am on a machine Windows 11 23H2. Let me quickly show you. So for that I will type winver and hit the enter key and you can see here this is a windows 11 version 23 h2 all right and now if i right click on the windows icon and go to the settings when i try to update my windows i am not getting that 24 h2 update over here but before that you also need to make sure that you run all the pending update of 23 h2 okay so make sure this get the latest update is being enabled then you have to click on check for update and if there is any previous update pending, you have to go ahead first and update it. On my end, you can see I have a lot of update available here. So I need to wait here until all these updates are being completed. And even I don't find here any of the update related to 24H2. Okay, so first I will wait here until all these updates are being completed. And after that, I will be restarting the computer. Once restarted, again I will bring up the settings here, go to the windows update and again check for update here. So I have one more update related to the Microsoft Defender antivirus, so again I will install it. Okay, so this update is being completed and again if I click on check for update. So it says your PC is already up to date and I'm not getting any kind of update related to 24H2. Now you also might have the same problem you are looking for the update but you are not getting the update. So now the trick is you will have to bring up the group policy editor. So click on your windows search. Type here gp edit or group policy editor. Click on edit group policy. Now in case if you are not using a windows 11 pro edition and using the windows 11 home edition then probably you will not be able to use the group policy editor. For that I have already created a video how you need to enable the group policy editor on the windows 11 home edition. You can watch that video and enable the group policy editor. Apart of that what else you can do you can also use the registry in order to apply the same tweak. I will also show that method but first let's move with the group policy editor. Okay so once you come to the group policy editor here from the left hand side where it says computer configuration. You will have to look for the administrative template, double click on it. Then on the right hand side you will find the windows component, double click on it. And in the windows component you have to scroll down to the bottom and you will find windows update. Double click on it again. Then you have to look for a folder here by the name manage update offered from windows update. Again double click on it. And here in the settings, you have to look for select the target feature update version. Once you get it, again make a double click on it. And this will bring up this kind of box here. And this will be selected to not configured. You have to select to enable. Now below it says which Windows product version would you like to receive feature update for Windows 11 or Windows 10. Now you have to type here Windows space 11. Then below it says target version for feature update. So our target version will be 24H2. So type here 24H2. And that's it. Now click on apply. Click on OK. Close the group policy editor. And now you can go ahead and restart the computer. But in case if you are using the Windows 11 home edition, you are not able to use the group policy editor. Then you can bring up the registry editor by typing registry in the Windows search. Bring it up. And here in the registry editor from the left hand side you have to look for HK local machine. Then you have to look for the software. In the software you have to look for the policies. In the policies you have to look for the Microsoft. Under the Microsoft you have to look for the Windows folder. And in the Windows you have to look for the Windows update folder. So once you get it 
just make a click on it then on the right hand side you may find few entries here like by the name product version okay if you don't find it then you need to make a right click on the desktop over up to new and choose a string value and rename it to product version where the p will be in the capital version v will be in the capital without any space and the value you have to give to windows 11 okay on my end you can see it's already been created the next one will be the dual 32 bit value for that you have to right click on the blank space hover up to new and choose dual 32 bit value and this one you have to name it as target release version where t will be in the capital release r will be in the capital version v will be in the capital without any space create the value and double click on it and make sure its value is being selected to one now there will be another key that you have to create that will be by the name target release version info so again you can right click on the blank space over up to new choose a string and this you have to rename it as target release version info and the value data will be 24 h2 and that's it now you're good to go now keep in mind this registry editor method is only applicable for the people who don't have the group policy editor if you have already applied the group policy editor setting you don't have to come to the registry you will have to go ahead simply restart the computer like i'm restarting now and once restarted this time if i open up the windows update here and then click on check for update so let's see whether i get update or not and boom guys so now you can see we have the windows 11 version 24 h2 and it's already downloading so it seems that the trick is working here and even let me show you that i'm using the version 23 h2 here again let me bring up the win version and show you here it is all right so now let's wait until the update of version 24 h2 has been downloaded and installed and then we will see whether it works properly or not okay bingo guys so finally you can see the update has been completed properly and the computer has been restarted now this time if i uh, open the winver and you will find here that it's version 24 h2 and we have successfully updated and upgraded to windows 11 24 h2 that is the latest version forcefully so that's all guys for today hopefully you enjoyed and found this information useful if yes make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye